Welcome back everybody. As you guessed it, Olight's having kind of a mini flash sale today. I believe the reason that they're doing it is to test their website. They redesigned it. But regardless, before we get into the actual lights, I want to address the folks out there who hate Olight flash sale videos, yet you still clicked on this video. You've just revealed your IQ to the rest of the world with your hateful little comment down below in the comment section that said, I know there's a lot of folks who really like these videos because you guys, guys like to get informed about a good deal going on. So that's what we're going to attempt to do today with this quick video. So this right here is the Olight PL Mini. This one's in green, so it's limited edition with green. And additionally, you guys have this one here, the little mini AAA powered light that you guys see here with a two-way pocket clip. Now, again, they're offering just the PL2 mini weapon light, which we'll get into in just a second in terms of operation features, those sorts of things, um, or a bundle with one of these lights for just a little bit more. So before we get into the details on the light, let's check out the beam pattern. For the folks who are new here, that spot there where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 feet away. Those trees back there are 40 to 50, depending on the actual tree that you're looking at. And this is the output here from the PL2 mini. You guys can see the beam pattern. The hot spot at this point, I would say that's probably about 15 feet ish. So it's not a super throwy light, that's for sure. Again, designed to be compact for concealed carry type guns, which generally speaking, you want a wide field of view, lots of situational awareness. This one does a pretty decent job at it, but still gives you, you know, decent candela. Putting, pointing that at someone's face who's, you know, 10 feet away would probably cause them to wince for sure. Now, just as a comparison, this is one of the competitors to it for sure. This is the Streamlight TLR7, similar in size factor, but the beam pattern is very different. It has a much wider flood. I can go almost 180 degrees and still be illuminating something, and the temperature or tint of the light itself is a little bit more yellowish. And then again, there we have the O light, and my hand just went in front of the lens, but <laughs> the uh, the flood is definitely not as wide. It's a little bit more focused. And here we have the output from the i3T on low, and then on high. Definitely shines in high. Oh, light. I say this in every video that has one of these lights in it. You guys need to make this in high low. It would be much better. It'd be rather a much better seller in the US market for sure. Now that you've seen the beam patterns, let's get into some of the details here on this PL Mini 2. And uh, basically it attaches via this quick detach lever right here and it comes with both a 1913 and a Glock insert on there. Now when it's in the open position, it allows it to be adjusted backwards and forward so that way you can set it up as you want on your particular gun. We have an 80% arms gun here and I'm just going to set it on the furthest 1913 rail to sort of show that point. So now we're going to just flip this over. At that point, it's on the gun. If you wanted to use it, you certainly can. It'll work just fine. Uh, but most folks are gonna want their switches a little bit further back, sort of towards their trigger guard. Some folks like them a little bit in front of the trigger guard, etc. So you just slide it back, lock it into place, and it ain't going anywhere. So at this point, operation's pretty simple. It's the same on both sides. You're just going to press and hold for momentary. And then if you want constant, just click it and it will stay on constant. You guys should have already seen the lumens and runtime and all of those sorts of things on your screen, um, but you guys can get an idea there. It is a pretty small weapon light, and again, for concealed carry type use, I think it would be excellent. There are lots of holsters out there for these at this point, so when they first came out, that wasn't the case, but nowadays there are. I'll drop a link down below in the video description for you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, really it fits on just about every type of gun. One thing I don't like about it, or rather that's not true, one thing I wish they would improve or offer a feature that it doesn't have is if you wanted to top mount it on say like an AR-15 or something like that or like a PCC, it only works when the switches are pressed in this direction. So pressing down when mounted on a pistol, I think it'd be cool to kind of have a two-way option uh, because this thing would be perfect on a lot of like little AR-9 uh, pistols and things like that, but who knows, maybe one day they will do that. Um, if you didn't know already, it does come with a magnetic recharging cable, so you can recharge it, you know, and go back out so you don't have to worry about external batteries or anything like that. 
And if you look around the internet, you'll see some torture tests of these lights, and they tend to do pretty darn well. I didn't torture test this one for this video, just kind of a quick cut for you. Um, but regardless, you guys have already seen the price point, both bundled and not bundled. There will be a link in the video description. It is an affiliate link. I do not get paid to make these videos, but if you do purchase one, I do get a percentage of that to support the channel. And I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, but regardless, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video.